Hi, welcome back. Today I'm looking at Dragon Naxi Speaking 13 Professional and we're going to look at a command option called Variable. What it enables you to do is to add information in between your variable. Variable enables you to change or adapt something, for example. I could have an open bracket and a closed bracket and in between that space is your variable. You can add your information in. What a command enables you to do is to jump to those points where you have your variable so you can put your information in. For example, a report or a letter. Before we start, I'm going to actually use a template in Word 2013 to show you and then I'm going to show you how you can actually copy and paste that template into Dragon Naturally Speaking 13 and then open that template whenever you want as well. And also how to change your variable symbols. So, first thing you want to do after you've opened Dragon Naturally Speaking 13 Professional, hover over to the top Dragon Bar or Expand and I want you to select Tools. So I'm going to left click that and right at the bottom we have an option called Options. Now, when you go to the command tab, and you see right at the bottom, we have two options there. Left variable, the limiter, and right variable, the limiter. Now, let's just simplify everything. Basically, whatever you put between those brackets is your variable where you put your information in. Now, you can see we've got two symbols there, open and close bracket. When you do this, make sure you open if you are using brackets, and make sure you use the close brackets. For example, if you was to put in a document, a template, open bracket, and then you didn't close the bracket with another open bracket, then the variable wouldn't jump there. So, click Apply, and click OK. We don't need to do anything more. So, everything between open and close bracket will be a variable. So, if I go up to File, let's see what templates we've got built into Word 2013. And I'm going to select New. Right, we've got quite a few there. Reports, Resume. Essential resume. Why don't I use the first option, essential resume? So I'm going to left click that and open it up. Now, as you can see in that document, there's an open bracket and close bracket. So that's perfect because that's what I've got set in Dragon anyway. So anything between that will be my variable where I need to put information in. As you know, with documents, you need to change information, for example, name, address, date of birth, and various information. This enables you to jump to those points quickly, which I'm about to show you now. So I'm going to turn Dragon on. Next variable, henry.smith at aol.com. Next variable, next variable, 02046491242. Next variable, learningmadeeasy.com. Go to sleep. So, all I've done is said, next variable and it will jump to the next variable where there's brackets. Now you see I've missed one there, type your address. I've done that on purpose. So I'm going to show you how to jump back. So next variable will go to any variable which is anywhere where there's brackets you need to put information in. So if I say previous variable then Dragon will jump back to the previous one. In this case the only available variable now is with brackets type your address. I can't go back to my number I put above 0204 is a variable, it's no longer a variable because I've added the information in. So, I'm going to say previous variable. Wake up. Previous variable. 22, Smith's Lane. Go to sleep. And it's as simple as that. And that's what a variable is using in Dragon. Now we can create our own variables, you can create your own documents, so any space you need to put your information in, you could use a bracket or different symbol. Let me show you a bit more on this. How about creating templates of your own if you want, or using the built-in ones, and you can open them up whenever you want using Dragon, instead of having to go to New and find your template. Great if you're creating your own templates, let me show you. So go back up to File, and again select New. A letter. And there we go. We can see our variables again because we've got brackets around them. But this time, I'm not going to use Dragon to fill them in. I'm going to save the whole lot by clicking Control A and then Control C to copy. Or you can always right click and select Copy in the drop down menu. Now I'm going to go back up to Dragon, go back to Tools, but this time I'm going to select Add New Command. This window will pop up. Now you see where it says content, this is the content I want to be shown once I say a command. So you can right click and paste or control V to paste 
and then I've still got my variables in there, you can see the brackets so now I'm ready so command type up here is text and graphics, I'm going to leave that, that's fine, that's what we want, text and graphics you need to choose the availability, if it's a global so you can use this command anywhere, application specific or window specific I'm going to leave it on global description, I could just call this a template for a letter and now I need the actual command so I'm just going to say open letter nice and simple now I could train that command with the train button but it normally picks up quite well without training but I'm going to train it anyway to show you so click train once click go and I want you to say the command open letter done almost done just want to come down here and show you this option where you've got an option here called variables or if you just want standard plain text you can tick that but I want you to click the variable option see when I click it, it creates a variable there for you automatically and again if I press it again so I could have in here for example my age and then I could add a variable and then you can add your own variables that way again totally up to you how you want to work that but I want to click the save button to save that command so every time I say open letter in word it should then open up with this template including the one I've added here so click save so I'm going to close this open letter go to sleep again you do lose your formatting options but you've still got your basic template for adding all your variables in so let me scroll down to the bottom and you can see I've got my default, my age default value at the bottom so if I use the commands next variable and previous variable I should be able to jump through them wake up next variable next variable previous variable next variable next variable henry.smiths next variable 22 Spain Road next variable Henry Smith next variable go to sleep and you can see how easy that is to work but let me try using different variable symbols rather than open and close bracket and see if that works so what I'm going to do is create a new document I'm going to change the symbols in Dragon so if I go back up to Dragon remember hover over, drag and bar or expand go to tools option, left click, straight at the bottom select options and if we go to the commands tab that's where our variable symbols are at the bottom as I said earlier you could use any symbols but in fact you can't and this is what I want to show you so you don't get caught out when you're using your variables they have to be different for example open bracket is different to close bracket so if I was to put in for example a pound sign, so everything I'll put between the pound signs will be my variable, it will come up with an error and I click apply and you can see that it's come up with an error because they could not be equal so click OK let's go back to the pound sign and let's make that as a ampersand then click apply and now it's applied so the symbols cannot be the same so anything I create now with a pound and ampersand will be my variable so let's try it out, click OK so let's dictate something in there to put a variable in wake up this is my name pound sign space ampersand new line this is my address pound sign space ampersand go to sleep so now there's my variables this time you remember if I go back up to dragon tools options and in the commands tab anything that starts with pound signs and then some, the end sign is my variable in a space so let's try it out click OK wake up go to beginning 
Next variable, Henry Smith. Next variable, 62 Helen Road. New line, go to sleep. Again, it's up to you how you want to use those variables and which symbols you want to use. It really doesn't matter. But as lots of templates in Word come with open and close bracket, and you can use them for now. But remember, you can change them. And just in case you want to go and check your command again, you might want to change it. Open up drag and bar. Go along to tools again. But this time, we're not adding a new command. I want you to go to command browser. And these are commands we have in there. Now it's a global command so you can choose specifically and then you can search this way by looking for your command. As you see, there it is. So if I click on that and you can click view edit, you can choose if you want to right click it, delete it, edit it, depending on what you want to do. Also if you can't find a command, it's no problem. Go back up to browse. Click this option, keyword filter, and then type in what you're looking for. And you can see your keywords. I've got open, letter, and you can find your commands that way as well. But in this case, I'm going to click edit, and I'm going to delete the command, and click yes. Thanks for watching.